the dispatch. It's on the yard, 10 a.m. Over.
John.
You don't happen to have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? No. Can we cut the twisty ties? Hey, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other side, unless you have a trick. Is it all right that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Yep. This is Rock Tunnel that we're in right now. It's going to be dark for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there, and then we're in here, and the next one is Mud Tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go, full we'll season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yep. This is all that made. U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel. It's a whole different story. Yep. The one that's made all out of mud. With um, railroad ties holding it up. Yep. Because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. The tunnels are real close to each other.
thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you cannot recover it. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Worth an hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lovato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your... Who cares? It's fine. It's okay. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned it's better. Be careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that George. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be next. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Right here, it's still yep. So it's on the along the straighter way or it's snowy. I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tanglefoot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
start. That's fine. How far are we from my tunnel? My tunnel? Yeah. So I know we just went through Rock Tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was in. The, I was on the curb. Oh, see, I was in Chama. I missed it. Oh, man. Now, they're not going to be running tomorrow or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the curb for that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. if you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Oh, that's Sadly. A you buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Railfan for the night. Oh, cool. But yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, yeah. I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you? Uh... down below that we're going to be going on. We're going to do a scoop. Up ahead. The dozer is down that way.
back in Chama, but I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change of if scenery. You're, if you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, if you're hanging out, you can fly me down, but, um... Because what time does the bus, what, what time are we do to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of one sixty eight. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean out the book box to make sure that the uh, Yeah, for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. It really? took me two days. Two days, yeah. 
it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right to the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these, in a way? Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. They'll, they'll turn them on their side and fly through full that gorge. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole, this is a whole training ground for them here. Yeah. For uh, Afghanistan. And Baghdad, yeah. It's your first time Mike all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thanks. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Trauma. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah. Bad. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh, my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Good. Oh. Fine. Actually, this bend here is going to be Phantom Canyon. Oh, 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 Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that... The out here the Where all the derailments happened. That's a, look at that two railmen up there, uh, Phantom. Yeah, but, uh, the real thing was that Toltec, or the, what's that called? Calico kind of middle. Calico kind yeah. That has been given us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? It's sliding down on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here, not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure it's going to be busted up and keep it running. Does it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, There's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here. It was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down uh, there. Probably not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got that, we've got better condition freight cars that need restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. They're going to make those out of the canyon. They're True. Mangled, yeah. Would it be worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be, a, I think that would be more of a, like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah, but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osher out there. Or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train, close it onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, the old diesel work train from the, uh, they used to do a shop up in the restoration shed, you ever get a chance? Yeah, but uh, I'll mention that would probably be started up on this side, pulled over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah, but I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if if they still last this long. Oh yeah, they're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, here's the Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve, big, uh, big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, the curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's so fine. Beautiful country, you know? God's country. Yeah. yeah. The little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of our little, uh, little uh, summer cabins. Wait, where? That little flat spot, I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or yeah, in Antonito. Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Are going to school out there or to your friend? Nah, this is not where, just where I live right now. Oh, okay. I'm from Houston, Texas. But I'll probably be moving somewhere out west after this. Oh, really? Yeah. How far out west do you want to go? I don't know yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> we will pay her. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's push her up. Almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Pull them back up. Huh? Pull them back up. Yep. It was at 90 when we got up here to check to close her. So did the running brake test. Huh? You did the running brake test, checked it all. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about anyway. I don't have anything steeper than a one and a half. Yep. Here, RGS 20 is back at um, Colorado Air Museum. Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's nice. certified at 120 psi, is what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and Good she's coming power. here. We actually have plans. Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. They still have other things to put on her, but yeah. How long should be on, how long she been underway? I I could say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg is good on that. Yeah. I could have sent her here. If we would have need more staff, but we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Cool. We must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Stand right here. Huh? Stand right here and we can stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right. My tunnel. Yep. Okay. Pass 311. Huh? Pass 311. Yep. My post 311. I'm going after RGS 41. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to acquire it. DNF shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, they're old timers that like, used to like, still work at Drango own RGS 41. So. so they're just loving it basically? I mean, basically, it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run? Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. Even oil burn. It shouldn't be too hard to turn back to oil. Only oil. Truck, the only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. Huh? Only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to because of that lawsuit. And the fire. Oh, yeah, here comes my tunnel. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. Absolutely. For sure. 
Oh yeah, mud tunnel. This is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the on the DNS fire. And you know I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on the DNS. I do too. Well um they came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah. And you know, for years and years people are like, why are we doing this all why are we doing it all this uh, Yep, all the time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now we'll be talking about Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down oil burners. 18th crew still there. They're turning over 3835. They're going to lose 2,000 pounds of traction force by turning 3835. Yeah.
494, uh, 495.